Hello YouTube, my name is Lime Malloy and today we're talking about the Comp Idea A Plus Core 2 test. Now previously I made a video about the Core 1 test. If you were interested in that, go see that video. But today we're talking about Core 2. So let me give you about my background. Okay, I took the Comp Idea IT Fundamentals back in like March and I passed it. I don't know if I really recommend that one. That's more for like basic entry into it. Like, you know, like people not familiar with computers, maybe like, you know, high school kids, something. But uh, I did it because I wanted to go through the steps of taking certification tests because I've never done it. I never worked. Comp ITEA. I done college and I did a couple online classes. So then we take the core one, and the core one of the A plus is, you know, it's it's basically have to do with like ha hardware and stuff. And I know that, and the fundamentals is pretty easy. The other thing on that one was databases, but uh, Compatia A plus two core two, it's software. I don't know software. My background is screwing around with computers, playing video games, being a gamer, and then building, you know, computers and screwing around with like video equipment. I don't know that much about operating systems. I barely know anything about Apple other than like their Mac and you know you gotta buy that I don't know a beeping thing about Linux so this one you know I, I stuck with more stuff than others first thing is I got the book I will say another one hold on let me go with that okay first thing I recommend is you know if we're taking Professor Messer's advice you go get a book I got the total seminars yeah I think what is it uh Mike somebody the the Compitea Core A, the Compact A plus Total Sim. You know, this guy I got his book, and then I did LinkedIn. Also, these prices right here. Let me move my fat head. Um, there. Okay, these prices right here. I highly recommend that you, you know, you don't do that. You wait till there's a sale. But you can get his book or you can do video. I like video. But the book is helpful too because the <laughs> boom okay so the vi the videos are helpful and the videos and the book the book is helpful but I like video better. If you want to, you can take a you can do a free trial on LinkedIn, but make sure you cancel it or do the one month thing because uh, I did that and I didn't cancel it, so now I'm paying a year of a. Uh, LinkedIn, but it's nice because I got to do the books and there's other stuff on there. But yeah, I highly do that or get a book. And then I would suggest you go to good old Professor Messer. He's awesome. He is great. He has free videos on YouTube and he has free study groups that he does once a month. But you can go back to other month. And his study groups are cool because the first hour they do multiple choice questions. They do performance questions and they have an after show. And all this stuff here is free. He has other stuff. I highly recommend getting his um, his practice exams because I feel like his practice exams was better than anybody else's. Also on Core 2, I got his course notes. I didn't do his course notes for Core 1 because I didn't think I needed them. But I needed it for Core 2, and it might have been good to get Core 1, and plus they have bundles and stuff. Also got, um, you know, so I got on hit Core 2, I got his notes, which are very helpful. And it is practice jam, which are very helpful, and all his videos free. And then his study groups. And then this one, I got Total Sims certification thingy. I, I didn't, grant grant I didn't pay. $110. I got 20. I got this stuff on sale. And then I did Dion training. Dion has his uh oh what is it? Courses and practice exams. You know, so again, I would wait and do that on sale. And then he has these other stuff, which is his practice exams over 500 questions. That's what I did because I was nervous about this one. I don't know operating systems. I know hardware. I love hardware. I know CPUs. I know that. Operating systems. <laughs> don't know that well. I passed my test. I got 708. 
out of 700. Also, what you want to do is you want to download the... Yeah, you want to download the Compitea objectives. Let me go back. Let me go back to one here. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you know what these are. If you do not know what they are, and you have no idea what they are, find out. Download it. It's easy. It's Compitea. Just type in Compitea. Uh, Bob, what did I type in? Yeah, I typed in Compitea A plus objective core one. If you're looking for core one or core two, and then you have a PDF. Because we'll tell you right here, you know, it'll be like, you know, section. Out of 1.0, 27% comes from that. Security, 24. S software troubleshooting, 26. Operation, 23. And, like, you know, you go down. 32-bit versus 64-bit. What's the difference? The difference is the max you can have on 32-bit is 4 RAM. Four, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM. Maximum you can have on 64, 60, 64-bit is a bunch it's limited by the OS. You can run 32-bit operating systems on 64-bit, but you can't go 64 into 32. All right, and then you go down. Be like, do I know what workstations operating system? Do I know Windows? Yeah. Do I know Mac? A little bit. Linux? No. You know. And then you'd be like, cell phone. You know, all this junk. I will say the Core Tool in my mind. For my background, was harder. But, you know, it took me to get all three by year. The other ones, it took roughly about three months for each. You know, so those are what I used. You can do it. It take you know, as as Mike always says in his books, heat and pressure makes diamonds. You know, the pressure is when you schedule the thing and then you pay the 240 for the exam okay here, here's a tip don't pay the actual money for the exam go to professor messer's site he'll give you a coupon he'll save you 10 percent off i paid you know 209 probably same thing with you know mike and darian and other people there are coupons out there but i would go professor messer because i trust him he's the best you know please like comment and subscribe i'm I'm recording. I'm like two or three subs away from 4,000. The last year has been slow making videos. I'm working on these stupid tests. They're done. I'm ready to talk about tech and play video games. And maybe if you follow there, it'll come up below and stuff. But for the um for the core two exam, you know, I say in core one, you gotta know your port numbers. You got to know the steps of troubleshooting through the malware system. You know, what is it, seven? Oh, I can name you. I, I, I studied. First thing is, is there anything weird? You know, you got to check anything weird. Second is, once you, you got to find symptoms. Second thing is, you quarantine it. Third thing is, you disable restore. Fourth thing is, you remediate it and then update stuff. And then fifth is you update the operating system and then you schedule scans. Six is you enable restore. And seventh is you educate then user so you don't have to do this again, but you do it in a nice way. Because if they click on the link again, you're going to be in this mess again. So if you can educate the user, that would be nice. Again, the weakest thing in the company is not the hardware. It's the users. And if you can educate them, it'll save you and the company a lot of money. Especially you. Because you can, you know... Because it's not fun to be like, okay, I got... You downloaded this, Jim. There's a Trojan horse. What did I tell you last time? If it looks odd, don't do it. Well, the same thing, you know? Yeah. So, please like, comment, subscribe. If it helped you, leave a link. Leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, we might make more content, but we did, you know, the core two, the core one. I can talk about the Compitea IT fundamentals. I, I, yeah, I could. Don't really, you know, I could. Have a lightning full day. Bring home the hardware.
lightning out. I'm playing games. Man, games! Study, study, and then play games. 